What's going on my dudes? Welcome to the channel. Today my dudes, I'm going to be teaching you how to get the 1.18 experimental gameplay on Minecraft Java and Bedrock Edition. So stick around and let's get right into it. Now before we do, don't forget to leave a like on this video if it helps you at all. Leaving a like really helps support the channel. Also if you're new, don't forget to hit that sub button because only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed and we're trying to go for a 50,000 sub goal. So let's get it my dudes. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and go to the Minecraft webpage, go down in the description. Now, if you guys don't know how to open up the description, it's a see more button or anything like that if you guys are on mobile. But anyways, go to the description and you will see a link for this webpage here. It says new world generation is in Java available for testing. That kind of sounded weird but anyways we're gonna go all the way down here we're gonna do java edition first and then we will be doing bedrock so if you want go ahead to the bedrock section right now but we are going to go ahead on java so the first thing we're gonna do is download this zip file we're gonna click that and it's gonna download in the bottom left corner down here we're gonna go ahead and wait till you get that now the next thing we're gonna do is go to show in folder so I actually put it in on my desktop right here. You guys are going to want to find it wherever it is. So bring it to your desktop to make it a little bit easier. Go ahead and click on this. And now we're going to extract it. Okay, I use WinRAR. WinRAR is free. Um, I'm using the trial version, but I've never had any problems. A lot of people complain about when I do these videos and go, I don't have WinRAR. Well, you don't actually need it. I think there's an extraction button with Windows. But anyways, if you if you don't have WinRAR, you might as well download it if you like doing this kind of Minecraft stuff anyways. So anyways, go ahead and extract to one underscore 18 underscore experimental. All right, there we go. The extracted version is right here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the search bar and we are going to go percent app data just like that so percent app app data and hit enter next thing you're going to do is find your dot minecraft folder which should be at the top if it's not at the top sometimes it's at the bottom you can always click this name button and it'll be there go ahead open dot minecraft and now we're going to search for the button the folder versions so as you guys can see versions is right here we're going to click that now it'll open up this huge folder here. And if it's like mine, I have tons of different versions because I do lots of experimental gameplay on different versions of the game. All right, so as you guys can see, we're under the versions tab and there's tons of different versions here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this folder and we are going to grab the one underscore 18 underscore experimental dash snapshot dash one. Grab this, copy it over here. Now I already have it, so that's why it's saying this. So I'm just gonna skip it and not do it, but you guys get the point, you guys wanna grab it. Now don't just grab this whole folder and put it in or else it's not gonna work. Make sure you actually go inside and grab that folder, okay? A little bit complicated, but pretty simple to be honest. Okay, let's move on. Now you're gonna type in Minecraft Launcher. Open up your Minecraft Java Launcher. And as you guys can see, we're gonna go up to, uh, beside the play button, we have installations. We're gonna click on that and we're going to make sure we have release snapshots and modded. Uh, we're gonna want those on, okay? Make sure all those are on. Go ahead and hit new installations and we are going to go ahead and name it 1.18 up here, 1.18 new. And then uh, you, you can name it anything you want. Then we're gonna go ahead and go to the versions list and we're going to scroll down to pending 1.18. And then the bottom, we're going to hit create. So we did that. And now, as you guys can see, here's our 1.18 new. So go back to your play folder. And then as you can see here, this down here by the little fox face is where we are supposed to pick our version we want to play on. We're going to go on 1.18.new. We're going to hit play. We're going to hit I understand. And let's launch it up. All right, as you guys can see, we've launched it. Now, if you want to know if you're on it, it does say it down in the left corner, Minecraft 1.18 experimental gameplay. And then we can go ahead and start up a world. And it'll say this, world using experimental blah, blah, blah. Let's just hit, I know what I'm doing. Make sure you don't load any of your other worlds. It does say created by an inca incompatible version. I'm not going to click on it, but just make sure you're on 1.18. It's a fresh world uh, because this is just experimental gameplay. All right, and you load up your world. Oh, it is raining like crazy. And let's go down to spectator. And as you can see, we are in the new caves. And we can go super far down. It's very dark, but we are in the new caves, as you guys can see. And if you want proof, we can hit F3. And we're at negative 30 right now. And we are in the new caves. So that is how you download it and install it 1.18 for Minecraft Java Edition. So let's go ahead and go do it on Bedrock. All right, so if you're on computer or Xbox, um, there's something called Xbox Insider Hub. Um, we're gonna go ahead and click on this and we're gonna install Insider Hub. Now it'll auto automatically it senses your profile and it should come up with your games. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go to preview here, 
previews will come up with all these different games that are under experimental gameplay and now what we're going to do is we're going to find minecraft for windows 10 or if you're on xbox you're just going to want to find the beta um so this is actually going to get us access to the beta and we're going to hit join here and then blah 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 you must own it and we're going to hit continue now if you guys join this remember you have to go back and turn this off if you guys want to get back on your regular version of 1.17 don't forget to just come back to this to do it okay just make sure you go back to the insider hub and then turn it off go to manage or something and then leave preview there you go that's how to turn it off if you get stuck on it you're gonna lose all your worlds i also recommend you back up your worlds because i have no clue what it's gonna do for bedrock now as you can see we're updating so wait for the update to finish and then we can check it out all right it says the product is installed so let's go ahead and hit play and let's show you guys how to actually launch the caves and cliffs all right here we are welcome to the 1.17.20 beta we fixed a number of blah 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 experimental features and let's go let's check it out so play beta let's go to create new and create new world and we're gonna scroll down here to experiments and it should say caves and cliffs let's go ahead and turn that on and then i just want to make sure i'm on creative turn that on let's go check it and make sure this works all right here we are now we don't have spectator mode on bedrock edition so i'm gonna go down and hopefully find a cave down here somewhere this is a huge ocean I mean like an underwater ocean what the heck is this all right we're showing coordinates and we are negative 12 right now going down to negative 40. so as you guys can see we 100 percent are on the caves and cliffs update with the new caves and if we go over here here we go it opens all up and we have all these new cave features to check out today all right my dudes that's gonna be it for today's video don't forget to leave a like and also don't forget to smash sub because only a small percentage of my viewers are subscribed and we're trying to hit 50k right now if you guys enjoyed this video let me know what is your favorite part of the 1.18 caves and cliffs update is it the caves is it the lush caves is it the dripstone caves what is it now i hope you guys enjoyed this video installing it on java edition and bedrock edition so go have some fun now if you guys want to remove it on bedrock edition just remember you have to go back to the insider hub okay my dudes have an epic one and i hope you guys enjoyed this video peace out my dudes